Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a full factory restore reset of any gateway laptop computer. Uh, this particular model, I believe, is an L59. It's got Windows 11 on it, but again, it'll work with a you know Windows 10 or even 7 and 8, frankly. Um, I'm going to first show you how to re uh, reset factory reset it uh, from the startup screen, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to do it from a hard reset with it powered down. So it's interesting. I didn't realize Gateway was back in business, but they are in 2022. I think they're actually a subsidiary of Acer laptop, and I think Acer owns the Gateway name. So they actually started putting SD cards in them and everything with 8 gigs of RAM, which is kind of impressive. Alrighty, so let's say you have your computer on, your Gateway on. We'll go ahead and show you what to do. So what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left where you see this little Microsoft icon here on the bottom left of your screen. You want to ho hover over that and then you're going to click on the power button and that will give you an option to restart. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to hold down the shift button and then you're going to hit restart. You keep your finger down on the shift, bu the shift button. You don't let it go. And then from there, you're going to get to where it's going to restart and then it's going to say choose an option and then from choose an option what you're going to do is you want to click on troubleshoot right here okay and then after you click on troubleshoot it gives you this option to reset this PC you want to go ahead and reset this PC and now it's going to give you two options you can keep your files or you can remove everything so if you keep your files it'll take a little bit longer and then once everything is restarted and reset to factory, there'll be like a little folder that has all your files on it. Or you could choose remove everything. Remove everything basically brings it back to factory reset like you've got it right out of the box. So let's say if you want to resell this computer or if you want to give it to a family member or a friend and then they're going to use it and you don't want any personal data, any of your browse history and all that crap, what you want to do is do remove everything and then they'll get it like it's fresh out of the box where they can start with the Windows 10 or the Windows 11 operating system or whatever Windows operating system they have. Okay, so that's if you uh, want to do it from startup. Now, if you want to do it fresh and the computer's completely turned off, what you want to do is have it completely shut down and you want to have it plugged up, of course. And what you want to do is you want to hold down the Alt key, A L T, and the F. 10 key so you want to start it up and I'd recommend just hold down the alt and then just tap F10 multiple times if that doesn't catch and what you can do is you can alternate hold down F10 and hit the alt key or hit them both at the same time you might have to do this three or four times but that should get it and what it's going to do it's going to take you all the way back to this choose an option screen so again what you want to do is hold down the, at, the Alt key, which is like over here, and then you want to hold down the F10 key at startup, and then it'll do a full factory restore. Alrighty, I hope I helped you, and make sure you subscribe. Alright, now have a good one.